Okay, hello guys, so this is the Xiaomi Redmi 90 and in this video I will show you how to flash custom ROM using a pixel experience Android 13 so this ROM is unified, it means that we can use the custom recovery for the Redmi 9T and also Poco M3 but it has a different custom ROM okay, all the step and file I will put it in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask on the comment section. Okay. For my opinions, this is the best ROM for the Redmi 90 and Poco M3 at this time on Android 13 because it barely has no bug and it's very smooth and doesn't have bloodware okay so stay tuned and check it out okay hello guys assalamualaikum with again with ombop okay today i have a xiaomi pon this is the redmi 90 with the code name is slime and today we are going to plus custom re custom recovery and also custom rom on this pond we're going to use the pixel experience on red routine okay so first thing to do like usual let's go to the settings let's check the setting system <clears throat> you can see right here we're using the mu 14 on android 12 okay so we must downgrade the stock rom to use the custom rom okay and next you need to unlock put other upon there is no instant unlock boot order for this spawn, so you have to wait for 7 days, okay. And you can see right here, I already unlocked the pawn, and the pawn is already unlocked, okay, so we're good to go. Okay, and then, next, we need to turn off the pawn and go to the fast bit mode, okay and next you can see right here now we are in the fast boot mode and we need to downgrade the stock rom okay we're using the uh mu 12.5.11 on android 11 and if you use the poco m3 you must use this from where 12.5.10 okay so let's open the powershell or cmd in the folder right click and tap flash all okay make sure to select flash all not the flash all lock okay because this will lock your device okay and hit enter <clears throat> and we must wait okay so you can get the stock firmware from the Xiaomi firmware website i will put the link in my blog okay <clears throat> and this is the step I also will put the tab and all the file needed okay so this is the code name sime or juice it means it is the redmi 90 or poco m3 okay so it takes time when we flashing the stock firmware so I will skip this one and now it's already finished let's unplug the usb cable and you should wait until it's shown the mu logo right here okay so we don't have to go to the home screen and you don't have to wait until it boots into the home screen like this okay just simply turn it off and go to the fast boot boot okay or you can force reboot the pawn and press the volume down and the power button until it goes to the fast boot button okay let's try it like usual volume down and <clears throat> power button and and you see the fast boot screen just release the two key okay now let's plug the usb cable again
Okay, let's close this one. And next step, we need the PB meta and also the OS recovery. Okay, this is the custom recovery. Just open it using the 7 zip and extract the file. Okay, until you see a recovery.emg. <clears throat> and i will rename the file so i will not get confused okay <clears throat> now let's open the cmd we're going to uh, flash the recovery and also the pb meta okay okay just copy and paste the comment Orange Fox on official 12.1 underscore one. Okay, now let's flash the VB meta. Can get the VB meta from the stock plumber, by the way. Okay, VB meta done. Now let's put it into the recovery. Okay, so. Let's wait until it's put it into the orange fox. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Next step, we need to backup DFS. Always backup. If there's something wrong, we can always restore. Okay, DFS and modem contain the best band and email. And here we go. Now we are in the custom recovery. First thing you need to do is backup the email and modem. Go to the Backup tab right here, no backup. I will put it into the external storage so because I have a SD card. Okay, select EFSM modem, give it the name, go to the option tab right here, enable compression. Okay, uh, this camera doesn't focus. <laughs> okay, go back and swipe it. Okay, and we should wait until it finishes and when it finishes we can format the data <clears> hey <throat> and okay done back now go to the, this menu wipe menu go format tab and tap yes okay Okay, done, and now let's go to this menu, select reboot and select recovery. I have checked before the format does, uh, data doesn't work on first attempt, so I have to format one more time. Okay, it's not a problem. Just go to the format data right here, tap yes, and it will format the data. Okay, <clears throat> now navigate where you put your custom rom okay i put it in where is it here and pixel experience okay this way but wait until it finished the size is about 1.6 gigabyte so it will take times okay uh, i will skip this one now it's already done now let's go to the web menu right here again now wipe the delphi cache and data and swipe it okay now we're done just hit the reboot system and we should wait until it boots the pixel experience logo okay <clears throat> so uh i will tell you more one more time for this one, the custom recovery is unified. It means that you can use for the Redmi 90 and or also Poco M3, but the custom ROM is different. Okay, so make sure you use the right custom ROM for the Redmi T or the Poco M3. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Now we are in the welcome screen. All you need to do is hit next next until it goes to the home screen.
okay hello guys so now we are in the home screen and i have installed several apps right here to test the pond okay so first thing i want to told you that the offline charger is working so there is no problem with the offline charging <clears throat> now let's go to the settings about one and you can see right here it's redmi 90 on android 13 okay security patch may 5 2023 okay and okay so let's check the email usually some of you guys will ask about the email and we don't have problem with the email okay nice the wi-fi and sim card also working and <clears throat> let's go to the settings again and check the internal storage you can see right here it's using 17 gigabyte from total 128 k nice and let's check the memory memory or ram that been used okay it's used 1.8 from 8 gigabyte okay very nice <clears throat> and what else okay uh so let's check the system 864 system and it's using the qualcomm okay code name uh lime 6 gigabyte of ram and 128 gigabyte of internal storage let's check this view it's using snapdragon 662 on 11 nanometer and the clock range is between 300 and 2 gigabyte okay nice okay let's check the root beer just to make sure that the pawn is safe to uh with no root access okay okay safe not read it let's check the safety net safety net is it pass or not <clears throat> okay nice it's fast now happy police detector it usually will detect the uh, mages expose and expose models okay it's safe no problem let's check CPU throttle maybe some of you guys want to know the GAPS uh higher the number it's mean it's better okay for gaming and video editing and other stuff that need the cpu load and also the gpu okay nice uh yeah it's, it's between 100 and 120 and 140 okay very stable Good enough for gaming very nice <clears throat> and that is stuff i already test the camera you can check right here there is no problem with the front and back camera and the sound is also quite loud okay okay nice <clears throat> and what else maybe the dps okay it's showing me the exact location of mine so no problem with the dps okay i also already test the sound and video playback from youtube there's no problem with the sound uh, i will not play it because the microphone my microphone has problem catching the sound from the pond okay so just trust me <laughs> the sound and video is working very nice and it's also <clears throat> very smooth you, you can make the pond more smoother go to the system and change the animation i usually change into the 0 0.5 or 1 okay where is it uh windows animation scale okay like this and this one okay it's feel better okay that's all this this is a review about the pond 
I uh, already shown you how to press the custom recovery on this one. <clears throat> and now it's the the quick review. Okay, I think it is the best ROM for this time. Okay, for underrated scene. Very stable, very smooth. No problem with the with the, all the function working perfectly and uh, the safety for safety network and other stuff is also past all the stuff okay so guys i hope it helps you uh, see you in the next video